All right, what's going on, guys? Doro Head Doro, episode five. Let's do it. So Cayman and Nikaido are ready to enter the magic user world. Of course, Cayman has to wear a special costume. He can't let anyone know that he's from the hole. So he puts some bunny ears on. He looks like the Easter Bunny. Uh, pretty comical stuff. And uh, when they get there, I gotta say, great artwork, guys. I mean, the animation here is really crisp. There's a lot of vibrancy. I love this. Uh, very nice portrayal of Q Hayashida's work. Then they decide they're in the magic user world. Hey, we gotta catch a ride to get a a little faster so they decide to take a magic carpet because obviously it's a whole new world uh <laughs> But anyway, when they're taking their magic carpet ride with the genie and Aladdin, we go over to Abisu and Fujita. It looks like they're getting hassled by some guys who know Fujita. They're kind of like, hey, what happened to Matsumara? You're not hanging out with us anymore. You're with N's group now. We hate you, so we're going to beat your ass. So Fujita tries to stop them because they're trying to pick on Abisu, uh, but his magic is not really that strong. And if it's not for Noi and Shin showing up and for literally punching their hearts out it, it might have been the end for Fujita and uh, Abisu as we know it so after the little scuffle I mean obviously you know after they kill some guys you got to go out for some ice cream I mean what else would you do in a situation like that but when they're having the ice cream Fujita mentions to Shin and Noi that he's tired of being so weak he would like to enhance his magical abilities so he's like hey can you guys train me and you know they kind of just laugh it off they don't really take him too seriously a bit disappointing you think they'd be a group but eh he's kind of a pussy anyway so who cares then back over to Cayman and Nikaido they're still on the magic carpet ride but they realize they don't have any money to pay the taxi driver so without any other choice Cayman decides to kill the motherfucker Woo! straight up murder bitch and not only does he steal his money he steals the keys to the magic carpet. Now, I had to laugh here because I didn't know magic carpets had keys. I thought they were just using, like, sorcerer magic. So, you know, I guess if you don't got the keys, you can't turn on the magic carpet. <laughs> We then pan over to N and the gang again. It looks like they reanimated the head of Risu thanks to the help of Kikaragi. So if they can reanimate Risu, they might get some more information as to who the lizard man is, i.e. Kamen. And then they'll be able to defeat him in the future. Then back over to Nikaido and Kamen. They're getting a little famished. They're like, the sorcerer world is uh, really big, you know? Let's get ourselves some food here. And while they're in the restaurant, I gotta say, as a manga reader, I I was waiting to see how this would be adapted and it did not disappoint they have a fire toilet in this restaurant and the waiter proceeds to tell Cayman and Nikaido about the fire toilet without any sort of provocation he's just like hey would you like to use our toilet it's the fire kind and Cayman's just getting pissed as all hell so I thought that was a really humorous moment Nikaido skirts off to the sides she talks to a demon and she's trying to get into contact with a particular demon but more on that later, Cayman decides to eat the food. He has an upset stomach. He goes to the toilet and he passes out. Now at the same moment, Risu has a flashback. And uh, we see some images of Cayman. And we see some images of when he was a head in the jar at the hospital. You know, Cayman's head. And uh, Cayman sort of had the same visions. And he even wakes up from his days and he says Risu. So this is very interesting. There seems to be some sort of mental connection between... Between Risu and Cayman. Now, are they the same person? We don't know at this point, but I guess we'll find that out more as we progress throughout the anime. Nikaido then alerts Cayman to the fact that she saw a guy with cross eyes. They go locate him. They go into the building, but unfortunately, someone was there first. It was Shin and the gang, and they killed everyone except for one person. And that one person, Shin decided to use his sorcerer magic on. And as you might know from the previous episode, Shin's magic is that he can disembowel people and keep them alive. He could literally just have your head and your spinal cord and you could still be alive and in a ton of pain. And the whole point of this is that while they're in all this pain, they can question them and get some more intel. So they take one of the cross eyes, they're bringing it back to N. Of course, Ibisu wants to take a look inside the bag. She's kind of curious. She
she ends up splurging inside of it. This was a very funny moment. A lot of hilarious moments in this episode, guys. But then we're back over to Nikaido. She tries to sell some magic. And the guy that she's selling it to recognizes it as very rare and expensive magic. So he's like, hey, I definitely want this. But Nikaido can't let that magic get out to the world for reasons we do not know at this point in time. But then she kills the guy. She then meets up with Asu, who appears to be a devil friend of hers. And he has a lot of interesting insights on the whole sorcerer realm. So it seems like these devils have some sort of special knowledge where they can sort of see all the machinations of what's going on in the sorcerer realm. So he alerts Nikaido to the the fact that Risu is in En's manor, so she's got to go there. She's got to go confront Risu so she can get some more information about Cayman. We then go back to En and the gang. They're questioning Risu. They're trying to get some more information about Cayman. And without a moment's notice, one of the guards just pops in the room. He's like, hey, someone's in the mansion. They infiltrated your grounds, and they're just killing a bunch of security guards. Uh, so Noi's all happy. She's like, hey, this is my time to shine. I'm I'm gonna beat up this intruder and I'm gonna prove myself to everyone once again. So she comes out and uh, wow, what a nicely choreographed fight this was between Nikaido and Noi. I really enjoyed this. Some interesting camera angles, a lot of interesting kicks and punches and moves. And now this is our second battle between Nikaido and Noi. Now, of course, Noi does not know who this is at this point in time because Nikaido is wearing a mask. But Nikaido knows who Noi is, and she's aware of the fact that on the Day of the Living Dead, that Noi was very powerful and was even able to knock her out. So she looks a little hesitant to continue with this battle. But then the episode ends right there, guys. So we're left on a cliffhanger. Is Nikaido going to be okay? What's going on with Kamen? He's just kind of uh, sitting at home, not doing much at all. And uh, we got to figure out what's going on with Risu. Uh, so a lot of interesting developments, a lot of great jokes. I thought this was a very comedic episode. I would probably say this was my favorite one thus far in the Doro Hedoro anime. And guess what? We got another new ending. It seems like every two episodes, they give us a new ending. So they had an ending for episodes one and two. Then they switched it up for three and four. Now we got another new ending. This one is very interesting, and I think it's my favorite one so far. It's a first-person game where, you know, you're controlling N, and uh, he's just going around a mansion killing a bunch of zombies or whatnot. So that was really cool. It was kind of nostalgic. Kind of brought me back to the days of uh, my childhood a little bit. I remember playing that as a kid, so I, I really enjoyed that. Now You know, they had the little 2D Super Mario ending. Now they got the Doom ending. Who knows? Maybe they'll do a Donkey Kong ending at some point. <laughs> <laughs> or or like a Zelda ending. That would be really great. But who knows? But anyway, let me just wrap it up. Great episode, guys. I really enjoyed this one. My favorite so far for Doro Head Doro. So with that said, guys, thanks for listening, and I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>